In this problem, we have a mass hanging from a spring in a vertical position. So there are two different forces acting on the mass. There's the downwards force of gravity due to the mass, and there's the upwards force due to the spring. Since it's a spring force, its displacement can be represented using Hooke's Law. Recall that Hooke's Law states that the force acting on an object due to a spring, or at least its magnitude, is equal to the spring constant, k, multiplied by x, the spring's displacement from the spring's rest position, its rest length when it's not attached to anything and in a horizontal position. The problem tells us the mass of the object, and we're also told how much the spring has been stretched due to that mass. So we can use the formula for Hooke's Law to solve for the spring constant of this spring. If we divide both sides of the equation by x, then we can see that the spring constant is equal to the force divided by the displacement. So in the case of this problem, we're told that the mass has a mass of 1.6 kilograms. Recall that force due to an object's mass, or rather its weight, is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the gravitational acceleration, and we're dividing by the displacement. So we're told that the mass is 1.65 kilograms, and the gravitational acceleration is, as usual, about 9.8 meters per second squared. We divide this by x, the stretched distance of 0 0.215 meters, and when we put this into a calculator, we find a spring constant of about 75, 75.209 newtons per meter. So that is the spring constant of this spring. But what the problem tells us is that the mass has been stretched some additional distance and then has been released. And we're looking to find how long it takes for the mass to reach the equilibrium position again. Now this problem might be a little tricky to visualize. It might be hard to visualize what the question's actually asking and the best way to solve it. But it helps to make sure that you have a really strong understanding of what the period actually is. Remember, for any harmonic motion, the period is however long it takes for the mass or the object to reach, to make one full cycle of its motion. So if we begin a period by pulling the mass downwards, then a full period is however long it takes for the mass to go all the way up to wherever its highest position is, and then all the way back down to wherever it started. It might help to think of this process as taking the place over four steps, or four equal divisions of the period. So if we stretch down the mass, then the first step is that after the mass is released, the first step is that the mass comes back up to its, whatever its equilibrium position is, then it's going to go back up even further to some point above that. Then it's going to come back down to the equilibrium position. And then it's going to come back down a final time to wherever it was released from. So it comes up to its equilibrium position, up a bit further, then back down to the equilibrium position, and then back down to its starting position. So four separate sections or quarters of the period. What the problem is actually asking for is once we release the mass from its lowest position, stretch down, how long does it take for the mass to reach the equilibrium position again? And as we can see from the way we've divided the period up into four segments, it will reach the equilibrium position after only one-fourth of the motion. It reaches that position again just during that first quarter of the period. So the easiest way to think about this problem is that we're being asked to find one-fourth of the period. So recall that the formula for the period of a spring motion, of a spring harmonic motion, is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the mass attached to the spring divided by the spring constant. Or we can simplify this slightly by dividing the 2 by the 4 as pi divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of m over k. And we already found the spring constant of the spring a minute ago, and the mass of the bob is given to us in the problem. So we can solve this by plugging in the numbers into a calculator. 
So 1 fourth of a period is equal to pi divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of the mass of the bob, 1.65 kilograms, divided by the spring constant of about 75.209 newtons per meter. And if we put that into a calculator, then we find a time of about 0 0.233 seconds. And that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a question or a request, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. Um, and that is it. I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.